Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I'm going to do a video today because I want to show you something um, that we were just talking about uh, a bit ago, about how we think that um, course corrects and sidesteps and, and what we call backward movement, we think of that as counterproductive. And I want to show you exactly um, how everything is always, always forward movement, okay? Sometimes we just need to take that four steps back, what appears to be back, so that we have more staying power. It's the universe's way of saying we need to make sure we have a little more footing here so that when we get to where we're going, we've got sustainability, okay? I want to show you that I don't want the numbers to trip you up because they really, they serve a purpose but not this purpose, okay? And I want to show you something here, too, okay? Now, we come into this reading with the Seven of Swords, okay? That is the moon in Aquarius. That's our moods and our emotions, okay? Now, what we walk into the reading with is the Six of Swords. See how the numbers went down, but we're not going backwards, okay? Now, the Six of Swords is Mercury in Aquarius, okay? That's our mind, our communication, all right? What that's crossed with is the Fool card, all right? That's Uranus. Change, originality, okay? The World card is our outcome. That's Saturn, discipline, fears, challenges, okay? Now, for those of you, um, and I know there are many of us, okay, because I, I, I see the emails, I get the, the um do the readings, I get the comments, so I know that that's the majority of you, okay? But I also know that we have um, some uh, people that, that aren't in the midst of that. So I want to do this on both ends of the coin here, okay? First, the majority of us that are going through change, okay? The Seven of Swords shows up here. That's the card um, that in the normal Rider weight uh, has that, it, they call it the Deceit card. It is a deceit card, but deceit means many, many different things, okay? But I think as, uh, as human nature, I think the majority of people, when they hear deceit, they think that, you know, someone's pulling the wool over their eyes or like the, you know, moment there. Not always and not in here, okay? What this means is that basically all the information is not at hand, okay? Keep in mind that the Seven of Swords is, is the moon in Aquarius, our moods and our emotions, all right? So it just basically says that, There are hidden aspects here still of what we're trying to do, our game plan, how we're going to get there, the specifics, the logistics, okay? That's all that it says. Everything uh, is, is not out on the table, so to speak, okay? Now, how we come into this is with the Six of Swords crossed by the Fool card. Okay, the Six of Swords is the bridge from where we are to where we're going. Okay, it's the legwork that we need to put into this. Okay, it's the new cycles, it's the beginnings, it's ends of old cycles. Okay, new ways of viewing things. Um, new perspectives unfolding, okay, but, but in the midst of uncertainty. All right. Now, how the Fool card crosses this is when you have, uh, just an example, when people are doing the, the Celtic cross there, we've got what we come in with, what, like the Six of Swords, right? What it's crossed with is what we need to pay attention to because that's how it's going to show up in your life, okay? And how the Six of Swords is going to show up here, the bridge, is through the Fool card. He's that, I feel something coming. I know something's coming. I feel the change. I just don't know what it is. I want change. I just don't know what it is, how to get there, what to do. Do I get the keys? Do I sit on the couch? Do I wait for it? Do I, do I try to do something? That's the fool. He's that void, right? The void that we're trying to fill, we just don't know how, okay? So that's how the bridge for you shows up here. He's encouraging you basically to step out of the boxes that we've created for ourselves, okay? To... <clears throat> Excuse me. Be more detached in the roles that we play. Okay. The longing, the undefined thing, right? That we all we all crave. The change. It's our spirit 
wanting to manifest is what it is. When we get that much anxiety on the inside, it's just our soul wanting to be creative, to, 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 put, to be put into action, okay? And that's not always the easiest thing when we don't know what that is, right? Okay. Now, the world card here is how we go through life, how we pull the four elements into our lives, right? A new job, a new location, um, a journey may be necessary, okay? A new perspective, Okay, sometimes it's as easy as just tweaking how we think about something. Sometimes we literally need to leave one job. We literally need to leave the place that we live in. They need to be such drastic changes like that to shake us out of the boxes. It depends how, you know, integrated we are. Keep in mind, a lot of our uh, patterns, our thought patterns, our actions, a lot of what we do stems way back to childhood to, you know, how things were ingrained in us. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to unlearn things to learn things in a different way. Sometimes it's as easy as just changing your mind about something. You can really make it stick with that. Other times you've got to disengage from all of your surroundings. Okay, it can go in many, many different ways. But the world card is when we just ebb and flow through life. Okay, when we use... Uh, our creativity okay our energy the things we tell ourselves how we do things the thing which we eat how structured we are do we you know get enough sleep do we get enough to eat do we take care of ourselves do we nourish ourselves you know those kind of things that's what the world is when we we're not looking for uh, the end result on something it's the journey that that angst inside is that's it's it's the wanting did you ever read a really good book right like you just you can't put it down but then when you put it down you can't wait to pick it up again you're just enthralled in it you're engrossed in it that feeling right that's the longing fulfilled you're in the midst of it you want to be in it you want to feel it right when the book comes to an end you're sad you know you're like oh crap because you don't want the destination you don't want it to be over you just want to be in the thick of feeling alive that's what the world card is the world card is just being at that evolution there where it's not trying to see the end result it's you know I'm gonna wake up today I'm gonna be happy today I'm gonna do something that I fully enjoy I'm gonna expand my time and my energy and my resources here because this is what makes me happy that's what it is when we when we know in life, what we're good at, what we enjoy, we don't meet resistance. And when we meet resistance, we know we're not where we're supposed to be, so we just take a step back, so we think. But what we're doing is we're like the hermit in yesterday's view, right? We, we just take a step back. We know we pull ourselves out of the craziness. That is, you know, you can't avoid it. It's, it's you know, we coexist here. Not everyone is on the same journey as us. And sometimes that just causes a paradox of crazy, right? So... This is why, again, we're the Seven of Swords. We come in with that, not having everything on the table. I also tell people there to keep change close to your chest. Don't, don't uh, share it with people until you really know what you're doing because you're not on solid ground. Again, things are not all out in view. We don't have our footing yet. We don't know exactly what we're doing. All we need is one person who is not in the same mindset as us that, that, that's more... Uh, more of a fixed sign, right? More of a sign that's just very, very um, central. You know, if things are just okay in an average kind of way, okay? And that's fine for some people, but for other people it's not, okay? You don't want to mix those and have someone say to you, my gosh, I cannot believe that you're leaving a high-paying job to go, you know, braid hair on the beach somewhere. Just an example, those are because they're polar opposites, right? You, you're looking, you look like a fool, right? You feel like a fool because you're now engaging with someone that is not of like mind. Okay, that's where I'm going with that. So that's why I say keep things close to your test. Not everyone's going to be happy for you. You know, and, and you're like, oh, 
well, that's okay, you don't need to agree with me, I'm going to do it anyway because it makes me happy. Then you're at home, you're washing the dishes, it's quiet, and the words come back to haunt you. They rip you apart, rip your plan apart, now you feel defeated. By the time that you leave the kitchen, you don't even want to do that anymore because you're not even sure if it's really, you've just, you've taken in too much. That's why it's best to just keep things to yourself, your intuition, the fool, that void, that longing for the undefined is going to know right where to plop you. It's going to know right where you need to go, okay? Because it, it is, it's, it's an inner calling, hence the inner part, all right? It's not to be, you know, posted on every platform for social media to get everyone's comments. It, it, it's a sacred journey, okay? So when we get to the world card, we've just realized all of this, okay? We've realized that in the book is where the journey is. In it is where we're meant to be, right? That's why it's never too late. Um, we've never taken a step back. It's always in the proper time. There's no rush because in it is where the power is, okay? So I hope that I helped you in some way. For those of you not looking to make a change, okay, what this reading means to you is the Seven of Swords is that sometimes you just need to, if you're in a confrontation with someone, your wife, your, your husband, your partner, your spouse, your boss, your kids, you know, anybody, yourself even, okay, it's lay it all out on the table. Get everything you need to say out on the table. Get the other person's you know, stuff out on the table. Be be open and honest and, and put it all out there because that's where this turns into the deceit card. And it's deceit because you're not only not being honest with yourself by by not, you know, putting all of your, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, the things that are bothering you, in not putting all of that out on the table and, and the, the, the two of you or however many, being honest with each other on that, that's when that card does turn into deceit because it's things that are just not, they're just things that you're you're not willing to put out on the table for whatever reason. The whatever reason is what's got to be addressed in there, okay? Because what that shows up in with the Six of Swords is you're either out of the relationship, you're, you're out of something, but in a way that could have very easily been discussed in the gray area. You know, when, when the defenses were down and you were really open to not everything again. We'll pull back the, the person that, um, you know, meatloaf on Monday till the day they die. They like routine in that way. Things need to be this way or they're wrong or they're right or there's no gray area. Those are, those are, and it's a fine way to be if you've aligned yourself with a place that's not causing you any conflict. I, I very rarely can even say that I see that. Okay, so what I'm saying is sometimes you need to just, Get it all out there because that six of swords, the crossing the bridge there, showing up as a fool card can really just be a tweak in a perspective. Oh, okay, I didn't know you felt like this. It's not such a deal breaker to me. Let's do this, okay? That's when it comes together like that, all right? And that's the ebb and flow of the world is that you now are able to, you know, see each other's point of view and you find harmony in that. And when you notice that resistance, feeling where something's off, you go back to the seven of swords there and you lay it all out on the table again. Okay, that's what how that kind of shows up, all right? Because I'll say this too, when I do a reading or a consultation for someone and they will say, you know, my relationship is just a nightmare. It's just falling apart. And I'll go and I'll look and I'll see what's going on in the job arena and they hate their job. They just hate even getting up in the morning. That sets the tone. That's that inner. That's still the fool card showing up telling you, you know, you're too fixed in something that you don't like. Take a step back to that childhood innocence. Find uh, a way to ebb and flow through this, and it, it usually just aligns things, okay? Again, sometimes that's really just needing to you know, leave a geographical location, you know, to call a time out, take a break in a relationship. It, it's, it's, it can be something as significant as that, or it can just be, you know, I'm going to take a breath today. I know that this job really sucks, but it's a catalyst to get me where I need to go. It's all in how this pertains to you, okay? But the Seven of Swords is just really being honest with yourself, 
okay? It's, it's knowing that, you know, change needs to be made. You're just not sure how. That Seven of Swords, too, is a card that shows up when you're just not willing to accept fate. You know, you're going to carve out your own course because you're just not happy. And you don't, again, you don't broadcast it. All right? So that's, that's what I've got here. And I hope that that helps you in some way. All right? Um, I'm going to say this. If you've really got a block here and you're really just not sure what it is and you've tried all this, you're going to laugh. But I'm telling you, get out a coloring book and crayons. <laughs> Do it when the kids are asleep if you have to, but I'm telling you, there's something in that, and I don't know what it is, but it really will, it's freeing. It really, the aha moments come, the I know what I need to do now, the I know what that is inside of me, that, that you know, erupting feeling of where to go. I don't know what it is, all right? And if you're on the receiving end of, of any of this and you're the person who dare not ever color outside the lines, I dare you to do it. It really frees up things. It really, you can come at this reading with any kind of paradox that you want, I'm telling you. It, it works for everyone, no matter where you are, okay? So we all need to coexist, so just find your niche and, and do what, what, you know, relax and enjoy the ride is where I'm going with this, okay? Sometimes this, this, Reading, too, just really signifies a fear of change. You can be on that end, too, where you just, you know, I don't know what I'll do if I don't eat meatloaf on Monday. Just try it. The world is not going to come to an end. You know, go at these changes at your pace, your comfort zone. But, but we know when we're in our comfort zone and we know when we're suffocating. There's a huge difference there, okay? So um, I hope that I've helped you in some way. Again, I... There was just way too much to try to put on a piece of paper. And I think it's vital because if you look at the past daily readings, they're going forever forward. They're leading, you know, onto each other like that. And I know when I get something as strong as this that I'm, I'm supposed to really just try to drive it home to you because there's someone or, you know, someone who's really struggling with this. So I hope that I helped in some way. Okay, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.